I'm at the house with the kids. On vet, and you, you are with a whole nother dude. Oh, what are you doing? What the are, are you doing? doing? What are you doing? Hey, Why what are you, you doing? Why do? you? You told me you. You told me you had to work. Step out. You know she got an old man. You know she got three kids. Do you know she got kids? She good, huh? And, and, and you ain't saying nothing. You, you taking you taking his side? I'm just embarrassed. I, I really have no words for you. I, I can't even. I, I can't even believe. Him, first of all, and the scene you just saw. It, it don't matter. You worry about a scene. You ain't worry about your relationship, doing. That don't matter. Your, your you're relationship. You're not worrying about it. Obviously, you caused the whole scene. We could have went to jail and anything. You're, you're, you're not worrying about it. Obviously, you caused the whole scene. We could have went to jail and anything. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm fighting for you, and you talking about some. I'm at the house with the kids now. If you ain't your trick on, I would still think you ain't work. How, how often you do this? You probably with this dude, this nigga, nigga all the time. Come on, man. Listen, I was. I, I, oh, oh man, you still right here, boy. You, you a. Man, so I ain't got no, you got nothing to do with it, man. So, so, you see what I'm saying? You, baby, for real, why, why you with this? Why, why you even did this? Like, what, what? So that's all you. Got. You don't have no remorse or nothing for me. I didn't I, care. Oh, let's show you I how much. Let's show you how much I care about you. I didn't came way out here. I'm least I'm fighting for you. I'm just embarrassed right now. Like I, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm so. I was still think you ain't work. How, how often you do this? Man? You probably with this dude, this nigga, nigga all the time. Come on, man. Listen, I was. I, I, you a whole man. old man. You still right here, boy. You, you a. Man, so I ain't got to do no, you got nothing to do with it, man. So, so, so you see what I'm saying? saying? You. Baby, for real, why, why you with this dude? Why you even did this? Like, what, what? So that's all you got. You don't have no remorse or nothing for me. I didn't care. I, I, oh, let's, show you how, let's show you how much I care about you. I didn't came way out here. I'm least I'm fighting for you. I'm just embarrassed right now. Like, I, I'm, 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 I'm so. What's up? I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. No, homie, homie, homie. I'm going to call you. you chill out, man. Look, look, I'm, I'm talking to my girl. I'm talking to my girl, man. I'm going to call no, you. No, you're not going nowhere. Look, I'm, I'm talking. No, you're not going nowhere. You leaving with him? I'm going to call you. No, you're not going nowhere. I'm you leaving with him? You leaving with him? Yeah. I'm gonna call you. I'm not even. No, like for real. Like for real. I, I, I really can't. You're not going like, nowhere, like for real. Like, come on. Look what you got on. Please, please, please. I'm not going please. nowhere. I'm not going Everybody nowhere. already looking at us. I don't crazy. care about please. that. You talking about leaving with a whole nother. So, what, so what's up? What you going to leave with? You leaving the kids too? Yeah. You leaving the kids? I just need to think right now. I'm, I'm, you I'm, you I'm, a. You leaving the kids? That you don't even... I'm not leaving my kids. I'm just, I can't do this right now. Right now, not a good time. It ain't a good time, man. It's not a good time. Well, that's f up, man. Life, the, what you just did, like, you know, that's you could have did that better than that. Like, that's, that's what's up, though. That's you know what's up. Man, come on, man. I got a dope. We got shit to do. I got to f my What's that sound? You a real for real? Hey, bro, I got my cup, I'm going to f you and your f up. You, 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 you really about to leave Shalom, Shalom, Koho Layam La, Abanawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Gridash, double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners, and Shalom to the Aquaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Now, as you saw, man, as you saw and as you heard, okay, look, man, Jake, these women do not love you. They don't care about you. They want to do what they want to do. They want to live the good life. They want to have a life full of pleasure, man. All different types of, uh, of, of uh, rods, man. Okay, all different types of uh, lavish lifestyles, man. These women are not with you. They're not in love with you. They don't care about you. They only concern what you can add to them, what you can do for them, man. Period, man. Period, man. And this Jake right here, man, you made a complete fool out of yourself, man. You got your kids. Take your kids and forget and forget your uh, your whorish woman, man, your whorish wife, man. Cause she gonna be judged, and so and so was that dude. He gonna be judged too, man. Period, man. 
You 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 recording that and she talking about she embarrassed and everything, man. That, that that's look, man. We already told you, Jace, man. That's no accountability, man. These women take no accountability for what they do, man. None whatsoever. They always point it back at you. Well, you this, you that. That's always what you did and everything else, etc., man. But let's let's get some scriptures, man. Let's get some scriptures, man. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, man. But Jake, you want to you want to trace uh, you want to chase used condoms, trash, okay? Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4, and it reads this. Marriage is honorable in all. And if that marriage is honorable in the eyes of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, there's no trespass. There's no disrespect. No adultery being, being committed. Okay? Marriage is honorable in all. And the bed undefiled. And that bed undefiled, man. Nobody touching your cookie jar, man. Your, 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 uh, your, your, your property, man. Your woman, man. Her quiver, all that, man. It's, it's, it's undefiled, man. It only has your seed in it, man. Okay? And your seed is the only seed going in that thing, man. Period, man. She ain't talking to other men, looking at other men, thinking about other men. Point blank, period, man. And the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers, it's like an adulterer and adulterers, the most high will judge. So look, man, everybody that has this mindset that wants to ride the double C's, that wants to lay down with other men's wives, you're going to get judged for it, man. Okay? It may not happen today, tomorrow, but it's going to happen, man. Okay? Period, man. It's going to happen, man. But let's go here real quick. Because she, she didn't give a damn about nothing he was saying. And like we, man, like we always say, man, look, man, these women don't care about you, man. They don't love you. What do you jakes not forget, man? You jakes are effeminate, man. Okay? You, you got estrogen, too much estrogen flowing in your blood. And you, and, you, and you ain't supposed to have estrogen in your blood, man. Man, oh man, you can't make this up, man. This is Ecclesiastic, it's also known as Sirach, chapter 25. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go to verse 23. Yeah, let's go there. So let's read verse 23 and it reads this. A wicked woman, and that's what you just saw, a wicked woman, a wicked nigger woman. A wicked woman abateth the courage, maketh in heavy countenance, and a wounded heart. As you saw, her husband's heart, he was wounded, heavy. He had a, had a heavy countenance. Oh, you, I'm fighting for you. I'm with the kids on Valentine's Day, and you telling me that you're working. I, I came here. That, that I'm showing you that, I, that I'm fighting for you. She don't care. She don't want you to fight for her. She want to go be a whore. Let her, let her do her, man. Worry about your kids, man. You got them? Take care of them, man. But nah, you, 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 want, you want what everybody else wants. A wicked woman abideth the courage, maketh in heavy countenance, and a wounded heart. Man, this dude was hurt, man. You can hear it in his voice, he was hurt, man. And the other Jake, you know, he, he just he just a, a demon. Just like she a demon, man, telling her, come on, we got things to do, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And you know exactly what they gonna go do. He about to go pipe your wife down, man. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress, and she's making this distress. She's bringing this stress upon him and talking about everybody looking at us. I'm so embarrassed, man. Please, man. She's just making an excuse to get away from you to go ahead and, and, and accomplish and complete her wickedness, man. Her agenda, her daily plan that she had planned for Valentine's Day. That wicked holiday, man, that just passed. Uh, what was it, Monday? <sighs> Will not comfort her husband in distress, maketh weak hands and fable knees. Man, yeah, you know, daggone well that dude cried in the car, man. You know, you know, he broke down in the car, man. Probably, probably when he uh he stopped recording, he broke down, man. Okay? <laughs> Point blank period, man. And she brought this distress upon him, man. And that's a sign from the Lord, man. And plus, like, 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 like the scripture says, man, the Lord is not gonna give a man that fears him. To an ungodly, unrighteous woman, man. Nah, you're gonna get a woman that fears you. How about Shimmy How shy, man? So you need to you need to examine yourself, man. And furthermore, let's get this too, man. Let's get this real quick. Let's go to Romans real quick. Romans chapter seven. Let's read verses two to three, and it reads this: For the woman which have an husband is bound by the law to her husband, so long as he liveth, and that dude's living. Then you hear then you hear him saying, I'm fighting for you, I'm home with the kids, and you saying you at work on Valentine's Day, I'm home with the kids, and I'm I came to fight for you. <laughs> so long as he liveth, but if her husband be dead, she is loose from the law of her husband. 
So then if, if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. And so what, and what is it? marriage is basically having sex. That's, that's basically forming the union. It's having sex. So let me read verse three again. So if then while her husband liveth, she be married to another man committing adultery, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. So this woman, man, ain't no telling like, like the dude said in the video, man. How many times have you done this? You probably been doing this. And yes, she, she has. And not, not just with him. <laughs> not just with him. I'm pretty sure there's, there's about six or seven other guys that, that she uh be letting tag, tag her up. And you flip her, flip her, twist her, spin her, get all up, get all up in her. All that, man. Okay, flip her, twist her, spin her, get all up in her, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure she got a roster, man. Okay, so this woman is an adulteress, man. Okay? Again, I'm going to say it, Jake. These women do not care about you. They do not love you. As a matter of fact, let me get this, man. Let's go back to Ecclesiasticus real quick. Let's get this. Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 26. And let's read verse 11. Watch over an impudent eye. Okay, so you're supposed to be watching over your woman, watching over your kids, watching over your household, man, guiding them righteously, man, through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, through his guidelines, his instructions. Okay, watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. So you, it shouldn't have been nothing new to you. you should, oh, man, I, I can't believe you doing this to me, this and that, man. You should, yeah. come on, man. Look at the world we live in, man. Nothing should amaze you. Nothing should make you be like, oh, man, I never knew that was going to happen. Oh, I never knew this could happen. Nothing should amaze you, man. Marvel not if she trespass against you, man. Look, when I, when I see certain bras do certain things, I'm not, I'm not shocked. I'm like, Sh it took you that long to do that? So I was expecting you to do it uh, uh, last week. You know? Come on, man. Marvel not, man. Marvel not. Because look, man, like I said before, she wants to live a lavish life. So let me get that scripture. These women live in pleasure, man. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 6. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. And this is pleasure for her, man. For having different dudes riding different rides. This It's an, it's an adrenaline rush to these Israelites to commit this adultery, man. To, to do these things, man. They, they get a rush out of doing this stuff. It's exciting to them. To, to, uh, for, 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 for an Israelite man to, to knock down another man's wife. And for an Israelite woman to go play the harlot with all these other men when she has a husband at home, man. It's exciting to these Israelites to do this stuff, man. Okay? And, it, and this is just part of the woman's pleasure, man. That's just part of it. There's other things, too, that we can speak about. But we're talking about this adultery. But this other thing, too, that they live, you know, a, a very carnal, man. Materialistic things, too, man. Et cetera, et cetera, man. But let's keep on moving. Matter of fact, let's go to Proverbs real quick. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 6, and let's read verse 32, I believe. Matter of fact, we're going we're gonna to read 29, and then we're going to jump down to verse 32. Proverbs 6, verses 29, and then 32. So he that goeth into his neighbor's wife, whosoever, whosoever toucheth her shall not be innocent. So this dude is not innocent, and he's going to be judged, and she's going to be judged. And why am I saying that? Verse 32. But whosoever committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. So a lot of these Israelites don't have understanding, man. They think that, that they're not doing nothing wrong. When in actual reality, you committing adultery with that woman that's married, you're destroying your own soul. You're, 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 you're bringing judgment and placing judgment upon yourself, man. Okay, but you know, Jake thinks everything is sweet. Jake think, oh, I'm the man, you know what, uh, if you was handling your bidding and this and that and blah, 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 no problem. No problem. Keep that same energy when Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, judge your monkey ass, man. Because you just destroyed yourself for, for, for a piece of polluted pussy, man. And Salaki, I'm just going to say it, man. Forgive me. But let's close out here, man, because the point is made, man. Let's go back to Ecclesiasticus. Also known as Sirach, chapter 25, uh, 25. Sirach, chapter 25, verse 13. Give me any plague 
Give me any plague, any affliction, any oppression, anything, Lord, but the plague of the heart and any wickedness. Okay, so don't plague my heart, like my la'ah, my mind. Cause all this, uh, you know, this, this affliction upon me that's going to oppress my heart, man. And any wickedness, but the wickedness of a woman. Because all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman, man. Okay? They, they, there's no cut cards. There's no bounds, bounds that they won't cross, what they won't do to you. Man, look, man, they go above and beyond with their wickedness, man. So again, Sirach 25 verse 13, give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of women. Because the, when these women you know, do stuff to the man, they do everything they can to break you down, to belittle you, to destroy you, man. And this is a prime example uh, of a portion of a woman doing something to destroy her man, her husband, the father of her children right in front of her face, man. And then to leave with another man. Hey, look, and then for you to sit right here and talk about you trying to fight for this woman and everything else. Hey, man, you get what you deserve, man. So we're going to leave it right there, man. Lord willing, I hope and I pray that this is edifying to the hopeful elect. So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.